Let's build a song together and use recorded audio, upload it into Producer, and then go from there. And I previously made a song on Producer called Selena, and I really like the pre-chorus here. So I'm going to go ahead and sing that into my iPhone and upload that audio file and then build a song inspired by that audio file or kind of build a song around that and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and record it. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and record it and then go ahead and upload it. Heartbeat jumping, echo with the tide. Can't look away, magnet pool, wide eyes. Spinning slow, my name, you don't know. I'm lost, you're close, but just out of reach. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that into Producer. So we'll select audio, go ahead and get that file loaded. And I'm going to say extend this audio and give it a trip hop feel with neo soul influences and saxophone. Let's see what it comes up with. Also, because I'm extending from the audio, it'll keep my audio the exact same for the first 17 seconds, but curious to kind of hear what it comes up with beyond that. And then typically what I like to do if I like the song, then I will trim it. And so I'll get rid of my audio and then use what it came up with afterwards. Okay, so the song went ahead and generated. Let's go ahead and listen to what it sounds like. Heartbeat jumping, echo it. Glad with the city lights, we cruise through vapor. So the next thing that I did is I wanted to see if I could make a cover with minimal changes, but I really like the original here. So I'm going to say, take city lights drift and trim the first 17 seconds off. Glad with the city lights, we cruise through vapor. Okay, so that is exactly what I wanted, which I'm really excited about. And I think we'll just let that one rock. I actually really like that and I might do some more tweaks to it, but this is just to show you that there are so many ways you can mix and match different tools that producer has. So you can upload the file, do covers of it, trim it, and then continue iterating to make sure you get a song that you love.